Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire Wedlock Challenge. In the last episode we took on Winona, the 6th gym leader of the game, and we took her down pretty much flawlessly. And in this episode we're going to continue on Route 120 and head to the next city in the game, which is Lily Cove. So, alright, so let's start off and there is this flying type trainer. You know, it's against my better judgment, but I want to fight him with Heather because Heather is very close to something awesome. And I believe this guy only has a Swellow, if I... Well, not a Swellow, that'd be actually pretty bad. I believe he has a Swablu, so... And he does have a Swellow, so... That's not the worst. You know, Heather's not weak or anything, so... She should be able to take it on, no problem. It's level 32. Yeah, Facade should be good. Like... And I did give Heather Shadow Claw again. I don't know if any of you caught that in the last episode, but... I had forgot to remove Low Sweep. Okay, that's gonna be annoying. This is actually devastating. If it keeps double teaming and I can't hit, this could be horrible. Okay, we're st we're taking hits pretty good. We should be all right. As long as we can land hits, we should be okay. Aerial Ace is not doing very much damage at all to us, so we should be good. Come on. Heather, don't do this to me. Just land facade and we're good. Mm, I don't think a crit would knock us out, so I'll stay in. And I won't heal yet. Alright. Yeah, I don't even think a crit would knock us out again, but I'm not going to risk it. But that time Facade took it down, so that's that taken care of. And next up, Swablu? No, a Azatu. That's definitely interesting. And I do believe Shadow Claw would do more damage. I'm not sure. But the crit ratio is pretty good. But I am going to definitely use a Moo Moo Milk here. Um, I'm not sure what it can do to me. It probably has some type of psychic type attack. I don't know if it gets psychic at this point, but even so, we should be alright. Air Slash. Okay, that's... Unsettling is what that is. Okay, let's just go for the Shadow Claw. Come on, Heather. Alright, it did over half. Wish. Okay, we're good. We'll outspeed it and take it down the next turn, so... That Air Slash did a lot of damage to little Heather here. Oh, man. that's That was scary. But, yeah, we should probably should have just led with Jasmine, but Heather did okay. Yeah, I did soar above you. And I didn't even use a flying type. Because none of my Pokemon can learn fly. It's, it's terrible because I have to walk everywhere. Look at this. This is the worst thing. Nobody can learn it. But... Um, I did pick up Grass Knot, like I showed that I missed it in the last episode. I picked that up before I started this recording, just because. So let's go ahead and throw a Lemonade on Heather. Use the rest of these up, because we got the Moo Moo Milk now. And Hyper Potions for that rare moment that Sequoia needs more than 100 HP. So, alright, this route is very rainy. And it's a pretty big route. And you can actually find that item on this route. Which is funny, I got that from... Maryland's title of this episode. It's pretty memorable. Um, this guy probably has, like, coughing or ninja -esque or something. Not really worried about what he has. Um, three Pokemon, so it's probably a coughing. Yeah. I'm worried about the self-destruct. I'm not gonna say I'm not. But even so, Heather should be able to take a self-destruct from a level 29 coughing, right? You would think. I don't want it to happen. It's scary, but... Gyro Ball, okay. Yeah, that's nothing. That was a crit, too. Gyro Ball is not the best. Like, it's pretty good, I believe, on, like, really, really, really slow Pokemon, but not a coughing. And I'll fight this coughing with Olive. If anybody on the on this pair can take a self-destruct, it's definitely her Olive. So, yeah, let's see. Level 30 coughing this time, and we're just going to go for the side. Oh, I forgot I had side Beam. And coughing's not very special defensive, so Psybeam should do pretty good. Yeah, nice. That was a crit, and I do believe it mattered. I don't think Olive's strong enough to take it down in one hit. But I'll stay in with Olive. Just to make things a little simpler. Because two Psybeams to take this thing down. And... Yeah, I didn't think that it would work. I didn't think one would knock it out, but... That's fine. And I would switch just to get the experience on Heather, but I don't trust this thing not to go boom on us, so... There we go. Alright. Now, I believe there's a trainer up ahead with... 
A Milotic? Why am I thinking that? No, it's a Sableye, that's right. Um, yeah, Heather can take on a Sableye, probably. So, let's see. Let's use some Ornberry. That's actually re... I'm actually gonna sort all of the pouches here. Let's use an Ornberry on Heather. Let's use another one on Heather. And let's sort all of these. Because I haven't done that quite yet. Actually, I haven't done that for a while, so let's just do that real quick. And now every bag is sorted. Yeah, I am positive this girl down here has a sable eye. I think it's a Milotic and Emerald. Don't quote me on that, but we'll see. Pokemon have many abilities if you want to become first class trainer and learn about them. Well, you know, unfortunately, this girl's outdated because this is when abilities were introduced, Gen 3. Oh, it is a Milotic! Oh, no! That's terrible. Level 36? And it's raining. No way can we take this thing on. If I poison it, Marvel Scale will just boost its special defense, and I don't think Venoshock would be any better. Oh my god, let's just go for Facade. I knew somebody... I knew there was a Milotic. Okay, Twister is great. Keep using Twister. I'm fine with that. Don't use a water move, because with its special attack, its level, and it's raining... Okay, uh oh no. That's terrible. It's healing more damage than I can deal. I have to poison it with Toxic. It'll raise its special defense because of Marvel Scale, but... Oh no. Okay. That's horrible. Now, unfortunately, I should have went with my first instinct and knew it led with that this girl had a Milotic. Honestly, I can use my three healing items, but I'm not sure we can make it out of this fight without losing one of these two. Olive and Heather have been here forever, and if anything, Olive has to get Toxic off on this thing. Okay, Twister is great, as long as we don't flinch. We got that Citrus Berry, which is good. Come on, Olive. Hit. Good. Alright. Now, we might be able to make it out of this live. I'm going to do everything in my power to do so, but if it hits us with a crit water pulse, we are done. I could go for Silver Wind, trying to get the boost. That's just playing. That's risky. I'm going to try and see what Venoshock's going to do. I know it's going to do more because it's poison, but I believe Marvel Scale does boost its special defense quite a bit. Refresh. Oh, no. What is this thing? It has Refresh, Recover, Water Pulse, Twister. What? There's nothing I can do. I'm going to go for Silver Wind. If it keeps using... Tw I, this is like I'm at a loss here. There's nothing I can do. Come on, Heather. Well, oh, Heather, Olive. Not okay, we didn't. Let's go for toxic. I know it has refresh. Oh no, that's it. <laughs> One HP. <laughs> oh my gosh. Honestly, we can whittle it down as much as we can. No matter what I do, this thing is going to keep using Refresh, Recover, and it's going to stall me out until I'm done. The only thing I can hope is it does not use Refresh or Recover. If I had Taunt, but I don't. That's healing item number one, and it's going to go for Twister. That's good. That poison damage is going to keep racking up. If it doesn't use Refresh and I can hit it with a strong Venoshock... We might be able to get it down here. This is, like, terrifying to me. Come on. Recover. Th that's good. As long as it doesn't refresh, that Toxic's going to keep building up. And as much as it heals, it's not going to do anything. But I'm. if it uses refresh, I am screwed. Please don't use refresh. Twister, great. Come on. As long as we can keep stalling with that Toxic. We have a chance to make it out of this alive. If it does not use refresh this turn, I, I think we got it. 
recover. I'm not gonna. I, I don't want to say this right now, but if Olive and Heather make it out of this fight alive, you know, I'm not really gonna do bro badges or anything like that because that's Maryland's thing. But they would definitely deserve one. All right. Now, what I'm concerned about. Okay, so say I go for Venoshock. It's gonna do more if it went for the recover. But if I go for Silver Wind and it uses refresh, it'll do more. You know what? I'm just gonna go for the Venoshock. Okay, recover. Keep stalling. That toxic's gonna keep whittling you away. Just don't use refresh. That's terrible. Come on. I know this is a long fight, but it's necessary. This is like... Oh my gosh. One more recover and I think it'll die. And it's like, Milotic is really powerful and it's level 36, which is crazy for us right now. And it's raining. This thing is a monster. One more recover. This thing is like these. I knew somebody had a Milotic, but I was thinking, there's no way. Why am I thinking of that? I'm just losing my mind. And then, boom, Milotic. And it's down. Oh my gosh. Olive, you boss. Oh man, I thought Olive and Heather were done. I really thought they were gonna die. And I was obviously thinking, you are right. Man, if I didn't switch into Olive and keep going... Like, I knew it had refresh, but luck was on our side, and Toxic came through. You know, I could have just been like, All right, it has refresh, nothing I can do, and never use Toxic again. And look where we'd be right now. So, I knew Toxic was what we had to do, and I'm very proud of that thought. Alright. Um, yeah, there's some berries up here. Any items? Doesn't look like it. So let's pick these berries. Ask me, like, hey, that Milotic... My Lodic, whatever you want to call it, that thing was a monster. Holy crap. Man. If any of you guys were watching that and thinking there was nothing we could do and Olive and Heather were going to die, you got to tell me, like, what you were thinking at that moment. Like, there were, like I thought we were just going to get stalled till we were both, they were both dead. Like, man, that's something. I couldn't have watched them go down like that. That would have been so hard. This far in, the longest running pair to a random Milotic. Like, I really did think they were both going to die. I fully thought that. Oh, this girl has a Sableye. Somebody around here has a Sableye. I'm not crazy. I said that about the Milotic, but... A cast form. Uh, okay. Really cool Pokemon. Random acts of cast form, yeah. All right. And it's going to be the water type one, which is fine. So, yeah, I'm not really worried about a cast form. Let's just go for facade and do so much damage to it. Sunny day, okay. So just wait until Heather evolves. Who's ready for slacking? That's going to be so good. I know Truant is a pain, but there's so many things that I can do to kind of play around with that. It'll be fun to try and come up with strategies like Giga Impact. Giga, Giga, Giga Impact? Who's ready for that? I think you can get that in the Lily Cove, if I'm not mistaken. Giga Impact Slacking? Watch out. Anything will die. Just think about it. Anything I ever touch, it's just gonna be like... Slacking's gonna come out and poke something, and it's gonna fall down. That's how easy it's gonna be. I'm so hyped for that combo. Um, yeah, I'm gonna keep leaving with Heather, because she's so close. Um... We already got our encounter for this route, so let's keep running around. I guess nobody has a Sableye. Maybe that's Ruby and Sapphire. I don't know. I uh, There's a Kecleon there. I'm not going to fight it. Yeah, there's no reason to fight it. There's a guy right here. Uh, we're good. No, there's nobody here? I'll walk through here. Um, Here's the big root, right? I know, a nugget. I know there's a big root on this route somewhere. Uh, one of my favorite episode titles anybody's ever used. Props to him for that. Um, yeah, let's fight this bug catcher. One up battle. I think he has Masquerade, if I recall. Um, yeah, Masquerade. Sweet. Okay. Yeah, Heather's got this. You know, I'm just worried because it's raining and all these Pokemon that have water moves. Ooh, Intimidate. Eh. Well, that's still really not that big of a deal. It's this facade. Okay. 
stuns for. Um, that'll make facade destroy your life, should we hit. So, thanks. Uh, it'd be cool if I can get the toxic orb or flame orb at some point in this series. For facade slacking, yeah. Or, uh, guts facade Hariyama. Who's ready for that? That's gonna be really juicy. But, uh, leave him paralyzed? Leave her paralyzed? No, probably not. I don't really trust it, so let's just go ahead and use a Cherry Berry. And Mask Rain did quite a bit of damage there. Can you imagine if it got the stat boost and we were paralyzed? Don't think of the terrible, because then terrible happens, so... Um... I thought there was another trainer around here. I guess not. Um... Let's go the way we're supposed to. Yeah, jump down here. Um... I normally don't use the dowsing machine, but we've been using it. This episode, and we still haven't gotten anything good. Um, there's a trainer down here with Surskit, Surskit, and Masquerade in Emerald. I don't know if he has that on this game, but we're gonna find out. And it's this guy right here. He's a bug catcher right here. Bug maniac guy. No, they moved him. All right, he's just not here. Uh, big root. No, a light ball. Ooh, that'd be awesome. Should we get the Pokemon that I'm hoping we get in the Safari Zone? So. Um, berry lady, give me some berries. Give the case a shake and out pops a poke block. Then a Pokemon eats it with relish. It's a way to show some love, you know? Yeah. Yes, yes, you understand what I mean. You should take this. And we get an Ayapa berry. Sweet. Not that we didn't already have Ayapa berries. Alright. You know how I'm crazy and I always forget, like, oh, there's an item over here and there's not. There's a rare candy over here. and Or my name isn't Chroma. I never can call I don't no, it's it's right here. I'm not crazy, you see? I told ya. You gotta believe in me. I knew there was a rare candy there. Okay, there's some uh ruin maniac guys up here and some berries, so let's get these raspberries. Yeah, find some raspberries. Mm. Pretty tasty. We got ourselves some mana berries, probably might the berries that I want to eat in real life, so that's really good. And touch berries, so. Berries, whatever. Um, yeah. But I hate bananas in real life, but the nana berries just look so juicy in this game. I don't know why. Um, sure. My face is so scary that when I talk in the tall grass, nothing appears at all. What does that even mean? <laughs> okay, Gomez, what you got? A cat turn. That's actually... That's actually okay. Uh, not really for Heather. I'm, it's really powerful. Cat has got a lot of attack and special attack. And but Olive can take a Cacturn down, or Olive's name is an Olive, right? Yeah. And I always call Olive a girl, just because the name's kind of girly, but... I was thinking, why don't I just start calling him Oliver? Because that's, you know, that's a girl's name. Ooh, Silverwind. You're done, Cacturn. You just got floored. Goodbye. I was thinking, oh, we'll Venishock, but... Forget that. Four times effective, Silverwind... Good luck. Alright. Uh, okay. Heather's pretty close to level 36. I'm getting excited for that. Like, I want to pop a rare candy just because I'm so hyped about it. And I probably will. Uh, let's see. That girl down there probably has... Ooh. Uh, let's pick the berries. Uh, I got some more Pecha Berries, Raspberries, and Nana Berries. So the same patch that we just picked. Except up here. So, got a two for one special. Right? Okay. Yeah, I'm probably going to go destroy that ninja boy with Heather. You know what? What could that girl down here have? Like an Absol? That's my guess. Yeah, let's fight her. I'll tell you this right up front. I'm super crazy weak. Oh, I remember this girl. Oh, yeah. I don't remember what she has, but a Sharpedo. Uh, okay. Not really confident in Heather's abilities to take an attack from this. I'm sure Heather would be fine. But we'll just switch and silver wind it. What's it going to go for? Crunch? Slash. Uh, yeah, Sharpedo is powerful. But its defense is so miserable. It's like non-existent. Picture the lowest number you can picture. That's probably higher than Sharpedo's defense. I know we're using a special attack, but still. It's pretty low. Yeah, and it's just gonna go for scary face. It's doing stupid things. It's been a while since I said that phrase, but 
down goes that Sharpedo. And Heather is going to grow to level 35. That means one level until Heather becomes a monstrosity. And you know what? I don't normally do this, but I'm so hyped. And we just picked up Rare Candy. Let's do what we've all been waiting for since the very beginning of the game. We're going to finally evolve Heather the Vigoroth. Heather was elevated to level 36. What? Heather is evolving. That's right. And there we have it. Truant is back once again, but Heather has finally evolved into Slacking. A Pokemon with uber stats. Unimaginably powerful. But with one of the worst abilities in existence. So, yeah. We're back. Oh, no! I didn't mean to do that. That's so lame. Oh, I wasted another air candy. I swear I didn't mean to do that. I save those till the end of the game, except for special occasions. That's so stupid. Oh, she has an attack raising nature. I didn't remember that. Um, I didn't mean to do that, so I'm going to actually put Heather in reserve for a while. I'm sorry for everybody that's excited to see me use her, but... Heather is going to be put in reserve until somebody else reaches level 37, because I didn't mean to do that, and I want to fi find a way to punish myself in some shape or form. Uh, I, I it's not set in stone or anything, but I'm going to probably not use her for a while. I might send her out in a wild battle, but look at that HP stat, 172. That's crazy. Alright, this guy has a Sand Slash. For sure. Alright. He definitely has a Sand Slash. No, a Ball Toy. He probably has a Sand Slash too, like, who's he kidding? Let's have Cedar come out. And do what Cedar would want to do. Huh? The Cedar Wood joke's probably getting pretty old, but I enjoy it, so. It'll be around as long as he is. Ball Toy's pretty cool. I was thinking of do a, doing a wedlock next where I. Ooh, a nose pack. Um. I know they have electric attacks. Their special attacks are alright. It's not the best or anything, but. I was thinking of doing a wedlock next where I allow myself to catch genderless Pokemon. And I flip a coin to see what gender they'd be. Because there's so many genderless Pokemon that I never get to touch because I do so many wedlock challenges. I think it'd be pretty cool to do it on um, black and white too. So you can get stuff like Clink and stuff like that. Speaking of black and white too, I had a really cool nose pass. Probo pass on that game. That I loved very much. Her name was Quesadilla. It was pretty good. And she met her unfortunate demise. I believe I talked about this once before. But... Anyways, uh, yeah, what, did he say it was a disgraceful, sh unbelievable shock or something? Yeah, discharge was what was shocking about that. Um, yeah, I'll fight this guy's inevitable coughing with Cedar. And we'll pick up a very useless item. And let's talk to this guy. I will adopt the movements of Pokemon and create new ninja techniques. Okay, well, good luck with that. I'm not going to try to pronounce your name. And I figured he'd have a ninja ask. Everybody seems to have a ninja ask nowadays. Like, I invented using ninja ask. Yeah. I was what started that, you know. Totally. This guy never ha had even thought about it till he saw me with one. <laughs> That's a joke, obviously. Okay. And a coughing, yeah. Can't fight a ninja boy without fighting a coughing, am I right? Okay. Let's go for Surf. We can take out that coughing. No problem. And that's it for that Ninja Boy. Alright guys, I had to cut there real quick. There was a guy at our door. But anyways, um... Let's see. Yeah, I'm pretty upset about using that Rare Candy on Heather. I seriously didn't mean to do that. And I'm going to... Punish myself in the best way possible. Like, I'm not going to release her or anything, but... Um, I'll try not to use her for a while. 
But I will go ahead and throw her out in a wild battle real quick. Just so everybody can see the mighty, the powerful Heather. Like, that one level could make a difference. And no, it's not against the rules to use rare candies. But, you know, I didn't mean to do that. So, here's this gloom that's going to get its face destroyed. Look at that. And Heather is just ready to wreck some face. That's just, oh, man, it's going to be so good. Let's take a look at her attack stat again. I have to, like, it's going to be so good. I was waiting. When we caught Slack off at the beginning, I knew, yeah, 140 attack doesn't even compare to anybody. Mm. All right, yeah, I was, when I caught Slack off, I was thinking, man, this is going to be a challenge because of Truant, but, you know, it's not going to be that big of a deal. We'll deal with it to the best that we can. And, you know, if she happens to die one day because of Truant, that's what happens. It's what happens when you use the slacking. So, anyways, here we are. This guy probably has, like, well, who's leading? Cedar? I'm kind of worried that he'd have, like, a Breloom, but let's fight him. Let's fight him. I'll check your Pokemon and see if they're fit for the outdoors. So, what's the worst thing he could have? Really, there isn't anything. Jasmine and Cedar are pretty good dealing with things except for grass types oh never mind wait for this just watch boys boys and girls watch the almighty cedar destroy this thing with an ice fang so good yeah these guys pretty much can handle anything they're pretty strong pair and cedar grew level 34 which is awesome and a that would be horrible to fight with gyarados now wouldn't it Ooh, Jasmine's not fully healed. I didn't know that. Um, we should be okay. Let's see. Manectric's only level 33. I know it can't do that much damage to us. So let's go for Thief. See how that's going to do. Um, I'm actually going to go for our Discharge. I want to see. Actually, I'll go for Fire Fang. Try and burn it. That'd be pretty cool. Just going to hit it with what we can. And I'm going to go for a Discharge next to see what kind of damage that'll do. I know it's not very effective, but Stab, 80 power. Let's see. Oh, I knew it could have had a lightning, lightning Rod. I don't know what I was really thinking about that. Um, As long as he doesn't heal, Thief would take it down. Yeah, no problem. See, Electric types are actually pretty hard for us to deal with right now, but we might have a solution for that down the line. I don't know if Jasmine can learn anything for that or not. But... You know, I'll definitely teach it to her if there is. So that's it for Route 1 Twent. <sighs> There's more trainers. Oh, boy. All right, that guy had a Nuzleaf and a Manectric. So maybe this girl will have, like, a Swalla and a... You know, I'll just fight him with these guys. There's no reason to overthink it. Let's go for the Moo Moo Milk on Jasmine and fight this girl. Actually, yeah, let's fight her. How's your physical fitness? If you're not fit, you could have a rough time in critical situations. I'm glad she thinks so, but here I am on a couch, you know, with my DS in my hand, slaying all of these guys. You know, I knew that sh she'd have a Lombre. If I said anything other than... I said Swalot. I was thinking Lombre in my head because of Nuzleaf. I don't know why I thought of Swalot. But, yeah, Lombre is exactly what I predicted in my mind anyways. Let's. Just, I know Ice Fang's not super effective, but it'll probably do more than Surf. Actually, I know it will. And look at that, we froze it. Nice. And during training last episode, I froze a Golbat, and it was just like sitting there motionless in the sky. It was kind of funny. I was going to show that, but... Unless he caught it when it was sped up, but I didn't feel like messing with that. Um, and a Grumpig. Um, sure. Cedar should be able to take that on. I can't think of any Electric-type attacks it would have. I don't think it learns any of them leveling up, so this one won't have any. Let's just Ice Fang it. Uh, I think... Yeah, I know Strength to do more damage. I don't know why I'm using Ice Fang. Yeah, I, Ooh! Ooh! What was I thinking? Oh, yeah, we should be okay. It's... We're pretty specially defensive. Even another one we'd be alright with. Um, I knew it had Power Gem, but I was thinking for some reason it wasn't super effective. I know it is. And Zen Headbutt's more what I'm worried about. But, yeah. We're good. Cedar's pretty strong. And Cedar's actually gonna be fantastic for... Um, the legendary of this game. It's actually kind of cheap, but if you have a Gyarados for that, it's 
basically game over, so. And, okay, um. Yeah, okay. Um, we haven't used Crocus and Sequoia for a while, so I'll actually go ahead and lead with Crocus, because this girl up ahead has a Viper. I know that for a fact. And this is a new route, so we're probably going to get a Dexnav encounter. And I don't know. I've used Bayonet on a Nuzlocke before, and it was one of my favorite teammates, so I'd be okay with a Shuppet. Let's see what we get. Um, that's a Kecleon. You know, if it says it has protein, I'll take it. But other than that... It could have protein, and that'd be really cool. But I think... I'm just gonna go ahead and get an encounter here. There's something I want in Mount Pyre, and there's something you can get here that you can also get in Mount Pyre. And hopefully I get that. So let's see if we get a Shuppet. So my encounter for Route 121 is going to be... I want a Shuppet. Let's, or a Duskull, either one. I don't know if you can get Duskull here. And there's a Shuppet, so sweet. Uh, I believe this thing has Curse, so... I don't really want to attack it. It has Frisk, which is... Less than desirable, but I'll just go for the quick ball and hopefully nail it. Um, yeah, we got quick balls. We have quick balls, no problem. And let's see. The reason I want to jump it so I don't get it in Mount Pyre because there's something I really want in Mount Pyre that my chances would be higher with if I already have a shop it. So, yeah, let's see. It's a female, probably, like everything we ever catch on this file. Land of the females, am I right? Okay, so I'm going to get a nickname for this Shuppet, and I'll be right back. Alright guys, I got a nickname for her, and it's kind of cool because it's kind of like a girl's name. It's also kind of eerie, like ghosty and scary. And it's also a flower, so I'm going to name her Alyssum, which also kind of sounds like Asylum. Which, you know, I'm not into scary shit or anything, but I know it is, so... Um, or it's associated with things like that, so let's name her Alyssum, I believe it's pronounced. So, yeah, that's pretty cool and fitting, I believe. Okay. So, now that we got our encounter here... Um... I'm not going to go to Mount Pyre and the route south of this episode, but I do want to explore the Safari Zone. So, um... This girl doesn't have anything, but she'll tell us that we can fly directly here. And I can pick up some Ross Berries, Citrus Berries, no, I spare berries. And I want to say Pineapple Person, okay. Yeah, I know that person. I just was thinking of something else. Anyways. Yeah, she'll tell us that we can fly directly here. You know, if we have a Pokemon that can learn fly. But we don't. So, I'll fight her in a second. But I want to fight her because she has Ace of Viper. Stop! Have a good look at my precious Pokemon. Well, that's kind of why I came over here, beauty. Whatever your name is. Jessica has a Kecleon. And she has a... Ah, uh, Saviper. That's right. Okay. Bug Bite Aerial Ace to take this thing out for sure. So, let's go for that. And I don't think it can have anything that would be super effective against Ninja Ask. Um, Bug Bite almost did it all by itself. And Camouflage. So our strategy there is going to fail us, but it doesn't matter. Yeah, it's going to be... A, well, never mind. It's going to transform itself into a Grass type, which does the same thing that we were planning on. Oh, we could have used Bug Bite too, so this thing stood no chance. Okay, and she has Ace of Viper, which I could use Dig on, I suppose. But Crocus grew to level 34, which is awesome. And, let's see, Sub Viper, just like I said. Um, I believe Dig actually do more than Aerial Ace or Bug Bite, and it takes two turns, so I guess not, but I'll use Dig anyways. It's weird that a bug can dig, I don't know. <laughs> Alright, come on up. Oh, uh, not quite, so we, yeah, we would have been better off using Aerial Ace twice, but... Dang, that Night Slash did quite a bit of damage, um... Yeah, let's just aerial ace it. Take it out. Goodbye, Saviper. And there's still that Hex Maniac back there, which we can fight with. She probably just has a Shuppet and a Dusk also. Crocus would be fine for taking her on. I'll just use a Moo Moo Milk. I'm going to use these even when they're not really efficient, just because they're so cheap and they're so efficient to use. I always stock up on Moo Moo Milk. Like, normally in black and white, too, when I get to Drift Fail City, I'll buy, like, 
80 Moo Moo Milk, and then I'm set for the rest of the game. So that's what I kind of tried to do here. So yeah, she has a Duskull and a Shuppet, probably. So let's just Aerial Ace it. And one more of those. I knew that was going to happen. Um, Instead of healing that, I... Uh, Aerial Ace, take it out again. I'm going to go for a Rost Berry or a Full Heal, whatever. I'll use my Lava Cookie. We haven't used them yet. And then I'll take it out with another Aerial Ace, and then I'll have... Ooh, okay, or it's going to kill itself. I was going to switch anyways, so... That's fine, because the Shepard... The, the, the Shepard... What? The Shuppet probably has um, Will-O-Wisp as well. And if it burns Sequoia, that would be bad news for it. Now it wouldn't... Ooh, a Sableye. Sequoia has this. Uh, we can only use Bulldoze against it, but we should still be alright. And I don't know what I was thinking about. Oh, Guts Facade. Yes, no, it's a ghost type. <laughs> but yeah, Sableye, level 33, should be okay. Uh, I guess somebody around here had a Sableye. Not exactly what I was talking about earlier, but... Um, this is going to take quite a few Bulldoze, but we should be alright. Sableye's not really what I describe as powerful. So, well, I guess its mega form is really good, but in this situation, the Sableye really stands zero chance against us. Punishment. Okay. <laughs> and Bulldoze takes it out. Okay. So, talking about Safari Zone, because that's the next area that we're going to head to. The way I handle the Safari Zone is very different to how I've seen other Wedlockers and Nuzlockers handle it. I'll go into that when we enter it, but first, I think Team Magma's over here, yeah. Alright, we're leaving for Mount Pyre. We are going to obtain that orb before Team Aqua does. I'll scurry off. So anyways, here we are at the Safari Zone, which is a really fun area because there's a lot of cool Pokemon that you can get in here. And I'm going to go inside. Now, let me go into how I take on the Safari Zone. Let's first talk to these people. That look in your eyes and that aura floating about you. You're one of a kind, aren't you? You make all kinds of mischief, right? If so, you'll really like this. And we get TM85 Dream Eater. Uh, not going to be useless for us at all right now, but it maybe might one day. I don't know. Okay, so let's go ahead and... Yeah, we don't have to enter anything. And this Safari Zone is dif different. But how I handle the Safari Zone is... I get an encounter for every one of the four areas. However, I'm only allowed to catch one Pokemon total for the Safari Zone. So, if we go inside here, there are four areas. There's the Southeast, the Southwest, the Northwest, and the Northeast. I'm allowed to get an encounter for each area. However, I'm only allowed to take one Pokemon away. So, say I encounter a Pikachu here and I say, I don't want that. I now run away. I get nothing else for this part. But I still can go ahead and attempt the other three areas. If I run into something I want and I haven't tried the other areas and I catch it, that's it. I'm done. I leave. That's how I handle it. So I'm actually going to go ahead and take a look at what you can get in a Safari Zone and see what I'm going to choose to go for. Alright guys, I took a look and it looks like in the Northwest you can get Heracross. The Northeast you can get Pinsir. And down here you can get Pikachu. Like I, You can get a whole bunch of other stuff. You can get Don Fan in the Northeast and... Rhyhorn in the northwest and Zatu in the southwest. Not really interested in Zatu at all, but I am 100% interested in grabbing myself a um, Pinsir or Heracross. Very interested in one of those two. So we're going to lead with Olive to try and catch the Pokemon here. And Dexnav works the same way. I get one per of the four areas. So let's run around and see what we get in the Dexnav. Oh, uh, Pikachu. And I know it says we already caught Pikachu, but that's the. Um, that is the, um, uh, the cosplay Pikachu. I couldn't think of it, but that didn't count because you can't evolve it or trade it or anything like that. So I decided not to even count it as a thing. So I'm going to spray a repel here because I want to go ahead and try the Northeast area first. And we can do that by hopping up here. And I don't know exactly where the Northeast starts. I believe I'll try my best. Oh, there's another Pikachu, but we already got the Dexnab there. Alright, this is the Northeast. So let's see what Dexnab I get. Hopefully I don't mess it up or anything. 
I'll probably end up leaving with the first thing that I run into. I wouldn't mind a Pikachu at all. Ooh, that's a Don fan, I believe. Let's check. That's a Gloom. We already have an Oddish, so that don't count. And you get Heracross and Pinsir in the tall grass, so this isn't even where you get them. Like, I know I'm going for the most powerful thing that I could ask for, but... I've used a Heracross and a Wedlock for a very, very short period of time one time. Its name was Hawaiian Punch. And I used a Pinsir never, so... Alright, this is the Northwest, I think. Like, I'm just eyeballing it. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. It don't really matter. I'm getting one Pokemon no matter what, so... And it's kind of fun to explore. Um, I guess I'll surf over here. There's probably an item this way. I don't want a water Pokemon, but I'll probably end up with a Psyduck if I do, which I suppose is alright. Um, yeah, let's get our Pokemon right here and see if it's something I want. So, this might be the Southwest, and if that in that case, you would find Zatu. I can't get that TM. I don't know what it is. I don't really care right now. I think it's Energy Ball, maybe. But our encounter for this part of the Safari Zone is going to be a Doduo. Now, that's a very safe Pokemon. I love Do Doduo and Dodrio, as I've talked about before. But I don't want this one. So, I'm trying to think exactly where we are. I th think... You know, I don't know what this area is. I'm going to try and figure it out. I'll, f I'll try. Let's just go with that. I'm not going to exploit it or anything. I'm a pretty honest person. Especially when it comes to these challenges, but... Um... Yeah, I, I want to count that as the southwest, I think. Or the north, or the southeast. Um, it might be the southeast. Let me actually look and see if there's tall grass in the southeast. Real, real fast, it'll only take me a second. Um... Let's see, yeah, there is tall grass in the southeast. And you can find Doduo there. So I'm going to count that as the southeast. I don't know if it is the southeast or not, but that's what I'm going to count it as. Um, so, it's gonna be kind of finicky. The Safari Zone's weird, but it's only one area in the game that's like this. Yeah, see, this is the southeast. That's exactly what it was. So, I can't get anything right here anymore, which stinks because I wanted to try this area last. So I could p potentially get a Pikachu, but... Okay, yeah, he's talking about items being on the ground, and... Aw, uh, there's nothing there. Hmm. Okay... So this is the southwest over here. Alright, this is the southwest. And my dex nav for here is a Zatu. Don't want it, don't care. So, I'm not even going to bother. Um, yeah. Let's get our encounter for the southwest now. And do we want this? And it's a Zatu, so I don't. And I'm not really confident in my abilities to run away from this. So I'm going to switch into Heather. I know I said I wouldn't use her, but it's just to run away from a wild Pokemon. Not that big of a deal. Air Slash, okay. Yeah, Heather's going to be pretty tanky. That was a crit. Thankfully, that was a crit. Wow, that did a lot of damage. Oh, I didn't mean to hop off my bike. Okay. So let's head to the northwest now. I believe I need the mock bike to get to... Some of the good items here, but... Okay, so that's a dead end. That's where you find a Mega Stone later on in the game. This is the Northwest. So, whatever deck... Oh, here's this. Uh, the Absolite. So, we're not going to be able to use that at all, even if I had an Absol. So... Okay, this is the Northwest. You can find Heracross here. I don't know what that is. So, let's check out what it is. That's another Gloom. Okay, I don't want it. Let's talk to him. Um, yeah, okay. Let's see. Let's get our encounter for the Northwest. Might take it, might not. Hey, it's a Gloom. It doesn't count because of Dupes Claws, so I still get another try here. We have an Oddish, so... And I do count Species Claws. Species claws. I know I don't have that listed in the description, but I did list in the description, I believe, any of the evolutions of those Pokemon. And we're going to get a Horde Battle, which is unfortunate because I know for a fact... That's a Doduo. Yeah. Um, like I said, I love Dodrio. If I get one in the next area, that's all I get. So I'm just going to waste this encounter here. So now we can't get Heracross, but we can still get Pinsir, which I would prefer over Heracross anyways. So let's go this way and get the item. And I might actually have to go get the Mach Bike to get to Pinsir. 
which would stink, but we already got all of our dex nav encounters, so it doesn't really matter. Um, there's a max survive, useless item, but, and I'm not going to go get the mock, mock bike and explore this area completely. Uh, this is just a waste of time. If the TM's worth getting and I want it, I'll come back for that off screen, but I'm not going to explore this area more than I need to. So let's head over to the northeast now. I'm sorry if this is kind of boring and repetitive, but, you know, the safari zone something has to be done, and it might be kind of cool for some people, so. Um. Can you go down over here? No? Hmm. There's still the northeast I need to get to, but I don't know where to go for that exactly. I might need the mock bike. To get pincer, anyways. Uh. I could still get Don Fan over there, potentially. You know what? I'm not going to go through getting the mock bike and everything just for a chance to get a Pokemon. That's a waste of my time. So I'm going to go up to the northeast and get my encounter over there. I already got my encounter for the, south, the southeast right here. It was a Doduo, I believe. It was a Doduo everywhere, I think, except the Zatu, but... Okay, I don't want to spray up a repel. It's a waste of my time. Okay. Can we pass through here? No. Can we not? Can we not go through here at all? <laughs> um. Okay, I'm going to spray up a rappel. Go to the northeast area and we're going to get our encounter because that's it. That's the last area we can go to. I get what I want. I get what I want. If not, you know, there's really nothing I can get that I don't want besides Psyduck. Uh, I want Doduo. I want Pinsir. I want Don Fan. Like, the northeast area is just a solid area in general. But we already got our... Dex nav encounter for over here. So whatever we get here is what we get. So actually, wait. If I surf. All right, let me cut real quick. All right, guys. I went all the way over to the northwest again. I thought I could get to that water right there, but you can't. You need the mock bike. So I'm just gonna get our encounter here. Whatever, it's fine. I'm not too bothered about missing out on pincer potentially. So my encounter for the safari zone is final right here. Whatever I get right here will be my encounter for the Safari Zone. Let's see what we get. I'll take a Doduo. I'll take a Don Fan. I will take anything but a Psyduck. So let's see what we get for the Safari Zone. This is final. It's a Psyduck. <laughs> Joy. Uh, I should have used my honey now that I think about it. But, you know... I, I love Psyduck. I just used one in my last wedlock, and it was one of my best teammates ever, and I lost it due to a crucial mistake on my part. But I didn't want to use one again, so maybe I'll use it. It'd be great. I like Psyduck. Don't get me wrong. I just didn't want to use one again. So let's see. What gender was this one? I didn't quite catch that. Let's just see before we tell ourselves what name we're going to give it. It is a male, so I need a tree nickname for this Psyduck. And my list right here, I don't really see a reason to cut. I'll just go ahead and glance over at that real quick. I'm going to name him... Uh... Alright, it kind of sounds like Platypus. I know this thing isn't supposed to be a Platypus. I guess it kind of looks like one. But I'm going to name this guy Eucalyptus. So, Eucalyptus. I know how to spell it. I'm just double-checking 100%. Yeah, Eucalyptus the Psyduck. There we go. That's what we get for the Safari Zone. I wanted a Pikachu or a Doduo. But I didn't get one. So, let's leave this place finally. That took quite a bit of time. Alright guys, we finally left there. And uh, we shouldn't be getting any more encounters for this episode. So let's go ahead and look at what we did get this time. Uh, we caught... Uh, Alyssum the Shuppet, which has relaxed nature. Uh, it's okay, I suppose. Not the best, but... Then we got Elipt Eucalyptus the Psyduck, which has Cloud Nine and a lax nature. Gentle nature, okay. Uh, yeah. I don't see myself ever using Eucalyptus, but maybe. If the opportunity is necessary, or it would be just the best option, that's what I'll do. Okay, these guys, I believe they have a Hariyama and something else. So, let's go ahead and fight them with Crocus and Sequoia. Uh, I know they have a Hariyama, so 
Actually, I think they have a Hariyama. We'll find out. So, yeah, let's go full speed ahead into these two. When we're together, nothing scares us. We'll show you how great we are. Um, a double battle with these type of trainers is what killed Birch. So, let's see what they've got. Spinda and Slacking. Oh my gosh. I knew they had a Slacking. Oh, I thought they had a Slacking, but... Whoa. Oh, <laughs> Slacking and Spinda. Boy, did they step it up. Alright, let's go for Bug Bite on Slacking. Fake Out on Slacking. That way it won't be able to attack. It'll probably be done before it gets a chance to attack. I hope. So. Okay, we're going to focus all of our attacks on it while this Spinda goes for Psy Beam on Sequoia, I believe. Yeah. Uh, not going to do very much. Spinda's not a very powerful Pokemon. Especially not in a special attack. So, let's go for Aerial Ace this time on Slacking and go for the Power Up Punch on Slacking. Got to get that thing out of here. Crocus and Sequoia seem to be my um, resident um, double battle slayers big time. Like, they do really good at that. So, um, I know Crocus isn't going to be able to knock it out. And I'm devastated about the damage that that thing's probably going to do to us. Um, I'm going to go for Dig on Slacking. Just because, um, you know, if Slacking and Spinda both attack Sequoia, you probably would knock him out. But I'm going to attack Power Up Punch on Slacking, just hoping that we're faster than it. You know, we're not. I'm going to play it 100% safe, and I'm going to use a healing item number one on Sequoia. Just in case they both attack me, I think I would be done. So... He'll have to tank a hit from slacking. Crocus will avoid it, which is nice. Chip away. And it did attack Sequoia. Boom! Holy crap. And Hypnosis on Sequoia, so... Uh... Yeah, I'm not gonna heal the sleep. I should be alright. Dig's gonna hit slacking, and... I'll just hope Sequoia wakes up to hit the Spinda. So, I'm not really worried... But yeah, that chip away could have crit and it would have killed me, so. Slacking's just scary in every shape or form, so. Now that that hurdle has been over with, Crocus wants to learn Baton Pass. Excellent attack, and I'm going to use it one day, but not today. If they're still here by the Elite Four, Crocus will definitely get Baton Swords Dance. Baton Pass and Swords Dance, so. But as of right now, I don't need that. It's going to take up a move slot. Okay. Um, we don't want Sequoia to attack at all right now. So I'm just going to have Crocus, Aerial Ace, and I'm going to use a healing item just because we're confused. We're asleep. We're almost done. Let's just heal it up. Make it all better. Yeah, I knew these guys were scary. I thought they had a Vigoroth and a Hariyama, but I was wrong. They had a Slacking and a Spinda, so... Somebody up ahead has a Hariyama, I think. I don't know. I don't remember what I'm talking about anymore. Somebody has a Loudred and a Spinda and a Vigoroth, I think. That's what I'm thinking of. But once again, like always, that could just be Hemerald. So let's go for the Facade, just because I don't want to heal or anything. And the fight's over, so... Not so bad. That could have been a lot worse, but we avoided certain disaster. Okay, Sequoia Grid level 34 wants to learn Seismic Toss. Good attack if we're a high level, but not right now. Okay. So there should only be one or two more trainers left. Actually, what am I thinking of? There's a lot of trainers left. Um, alright, there's a rare candy over here. I know I say this every time, ever, but... Now, this episode's probably getting pretty long. I can't imagine how long this episode is right now. Um, there's no rare candy unfortunately. But there is a nurse down here that will heal me. Aw, uh, this girl. Yeah. Which is nice. They added this in Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. I don't believe this was here in Ruby Sapphire and Emerald. And I don't want to go to Mount Pyre yet, or Route 122, whatever. But, let's talk to her, see what she has to say. Head looms Mount Pyre. It is natural monument to the spirits of departed Pokemon. Uh, I want to finish the route, but it's probably getting pretty long. Um, Let me actually check real quick. 
Alright guys, this is a really long episode. It's an hour raw footage. It's probably gonna only be like 50, 55 minutes probably, but that's a really long episode. We'll finish heading over to Lily Cove City and explore Lily Cove City and the route south of Mount Pyre in the next episode. But if you enjoyed this episode, a like is appreciated. It helps out a great deal. And if you want to see more Pokemon, Nuzlocks, Wedlocks, or any Let's Plays, Pokemon, and Nintendo related, feel free to subscribe. And I'll catch you guys next episode. Thanks for watching.